everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. My topic, I actually have a little bit of a topic, but I have to look at the paper because <laughs> I don't remember how I wrote it. I wrote, when the camera turns off, do you go blank? Or I mean turns on, on not off. <laughs> oh, good heavens, I can't read it. I have, when the camera turns on, I do have that written. Do you go blank? I do. Have you noticed? <laughs> I don't sometimes know. Sometimes you do. I sometimes do. Sometimes you just, it turns, you start right on going. I had a lot of, yeah, I do that too. What happens is something will come up and it'll give me a thought and then that thought goes, then that thought takes off. It's like a, it's like it's a motorboat in my brain. Well, I had a lot of comments about my little girl that I made with no face and they really wanted to see a face. Well, I don't know if you realize it, but making the face is the hardest part of the whole thing because we if if you ever noticed um, people's eyes and mouth and thing take them away and you don't have and that's that's where their character is well <laughs> I put a face on her she's got um she's got eyes and a mouth I'll show you <laughs> it's so bad here I am hello no oh, it's not bad it's cute it looks cute yeah. She says, I have a face. <laughs> She's too funny. Well, and then I was trying to do something. I thought, well, you know, maybe I can, I had just, I had just this much yarn left over. I didn't have much yarn left over. And I thought, well, I was going to maybe put this color yarn with it. And then I changed my mind because I wanted to make the bonnet a little bigger, a little bit fuller. But, um. There was, I was watching one and they were making these, this is supposed to be a sunshine, but it's not because I didn't do the change of colors. And what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to have the one side red, the other side another color, and then you make like the shiny part, whatever color you like to make with yellow. Yellow would be where the face would have been. And it could be a keychain, and I just made it, a, it's like an ornament. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Mm -hmm. I think it's cute. And you put a little stuffing in it so it's got a little bit of cushion to it. And you make two of these. It's really very easy. It was so easy. And it was just with a piece of scrap yarn. And I still have a little bit left over of this multicolored yarn, variegated yarn. The blues are, I, I like the blues. The blues are pretty. And it's done with treble crochets, which when you're making the trebles and chains, it's got trebles and chains. It's sort of like the Tunisian crochet in a way, only the Tunisian did a little bit, it's a little bit different. It's it's pretty. I like the Tunisian blanket. It's it's a pretty thing. Well, anyways, back on the topic. <laughs> I forgot where I was going. Um, when the camera turns on, your brain goes blank. So many times I've come in here and I'll say to Jim, what was I going to talk about? And then it's like I had a thought. And before I can write the thought down, the thought's gone. And that's kind of like when the camera's turned on. Like when you've been at, a, I don't know if you've ever been to weddings or something where they, they want to do like a little video documentary thing. As soon as the camera's in your face, it's like all words are gone. You could be talking away and the camera comes and it's like, I've got nothing to say. And that's how it is when I do videos sometimes, sometimes, not all the time. <laughs> But um, it's not, um, let's see, I wrote down here, I wrote a couple things down because, you know, when you're thinking, you're thinking. And when you're talking at the camera there, it's like, what did I think about? And I wanted to say that when you're in front of the camera, it's not like a magic pill. You can't just snap your fingers and have the words come back to you because they don't. And it's like, I have to walk through doorways to make the words come back sometimes. And then they don't always come back. But you have to walk backwards. I have to walk. Well, I walk through them. I go back through them. And I think, oh, yeah, now I remember. And then I come and I say what it is. And I'm on the other side so that I don't forget when I come back through again. Because your brain could be erased again. And you could practice these videos, but you know, they're not spontaneous. If you practice what you want to say, I have no idea what I'm going to say. It's always out of just at that moment, whatever comes from my thoughts. So that's, the, that's what I was thinking today. So do you, the question was, do you, does, 
Does your bl brain go blank as soon as the camera comes on? Do you have a lot of thoughts prior to and thinking, gee, this would make a good video or that would be a good topic to talk about? But then when you get there, you think, gosh, what in the world did I think about that I could have made a video on? Does that happen to you? If, you, if it does, let me know and I'll be glad to read it. <laughs> I guess I'm done. Oh, gosh. This is always the hardest part. And is it hard to say goodbye? That's another question. Do you find it hard to end your videos? Or do you just find that part easy? I find starting it a whole lot easier than saying goodbye. Well, I'm going to say goodbye now. So I'll tell you all tomorrow what I think of, whatever I think of. It'll be in whatever that. Whatever you read. It'll be in that video. So I'll, oh, I do have to tell you. Dorothy is in timeout chicken jail. She should be let out tomorrow. I believe it'll be three days for her. She's wanted to be broody for too long, and, and I really didn't want her just sitting in the nest. I like it when they get out of the nest, go walk around, fly around, come out for chicken scratch, and eat some food and drink some. But when they're broody acting, they don't like to do that. And Emma is doing pretty good. It's about a week away till her baby chicks hatch. So now I'll say goodbye. <laughs> okay, we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.